This video is part of the iGEM Academy series, A Beginner's Guide. This tutorial explains how to prepare and carry out Igoro's gel electrophoresis. This popular technique is used to visualize and identify DNA fragments or proteins by separating them according to their size. To prepare the gel, the following are needed. Igoro's, 1x TBE buffer, and gel red. For 150 milliliters of a 1% agarose gel, 1.5 grams of agarose powder is weighed out. The agarose is transferred to a glass bottle. 150 milliliters of TBE buffer is added. The glass bottle is swirled to fully dissolve the agarose quickly. The mixture is microwaved for a few minutes. It is important not to boil the solution out of the flask. The flask at this stage is extremely hot. A folded piece of paper is used in order to handle the flask as shown. The agarose solution is now allowed to cool down. Gel red, which is a DNA stain, is added once the solution is cool enough to touch. This step is important because this DNA stain allows the DNA to be visible under UV light later on. 15 microliters of gel red is added to the solution. The gel solution is now poured into the gel tray. Any air bubbles are removed with a pipette tip and the comb is added. The gel is now left to solidify at room temperature. While the gel is left to solidify, the samples are prepared. To prepare the samples, the following are needed. DNA, reaction buffer for restriction enzymes, the enzymes ECO-R1 and PST1, gel loading dye, and DNA ladder. 10 microliters of a DNA sample is transferred into properly labeled Eppendorf tubes. This DNA has previously been mini-prepped. To view the tutorial on mini-prep, please click on the link provided. Next, 3 microliters of reaction buffer for restriction enzymes is added. Now, 1.5 microliters of ECO-R1 and 1.5 microliters of PST1 are added. The samples are left to incubate for around 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. 10 microliters of DNA ladder is added to a separate Eppendorf tube. After the samples are removed from the incubator, 5 microliters of gel loading dye is added to each sample. Make sure that each tube is properly labelled. The samples are ready to be run on the gel. The gel is repositioned in the well. TBE buffer is then added so that the gel is fully submerged in the buffer. After the gel is fully submerged, the comb is removed carefully. 10 microliters of each sample is loaded into separate wells of the gel. The DNA ladder is loaded into the first well. The other samples are loaded in a similar manner. The gel is now covered and the electrodes are applied. The gel is run at 100 volts for 30 to 60 minutes. When the gel has run, it's important to make sure to turn off the electricity supply before removing the electrodes. The gel is carefully removed while it's still in its mould and transferred to a source of UV light. A picture of the gel is taken. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the TCD iGEM team 2015. To go directly to the next video in the series, A Beginner's Guide, please click on the link provided.